Hello everyone, this is Tom Vogel, Wrestling's Finest PC Wrestling Game, continuing our uh, video series. Uh, this video, I am going to walk you through the process of how you can create a card. And uh, th this was a really awesome feature, as the Miz would say. It was released with version 2 last May or June of 2016. Very easy to use. Gary did a great job of implementing it and making it, you know, pretty much idiot-proof to set up. So, how we how you go about setting up a card is you just go up to Match Cards, and you can, you'll click uh, Create Match Card. Here we are at the Create uh, Card main screen here and what Gary's done here is put the directions right here and we're just going to follow them right through we're going to choose a uh, type in a name for the card and enter event date and I'm going to call this card Georgia New Year's Day location will be Atlanta the venue will be the Omni. The date will be 1 1 81. Attendance, they're hanging from the rafters, as the late Gorilla Monsoon would say. So we've entered all the information, and now what we're going to do is we're going to pick a wrestling folder. And you can change this for each um, event you have. For now, in fact, for this. Uh, walk through I'm going to take a, make a Georgia card and what I'm going to do is you can see there's um, 12 events you can enter I'm just going to enter three or four here just so you can see how this works so how what you're going to do now is for singles uh, first you're going to do the the card event you're going to make that you know this is your first one and I'm going to have this a singles match and in this match we are going to have we're going to take one of Herman, my brother's favorite wrestlers of all time, Steve O. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag Steve O right here. Just click and drag, and he's going to face the handsome half breed, Gino Hernandez. Gorgeous Gino. I think that maybe was his nickname. Um, anyway, you can enter a specialty match, which we are not going to do for this one. And once we get this entered in, what we're going to do is we're going to click uh, Save Changes to Card Event. Here it says Edit Card Event. We're just going to click Save. And you'll see what's going to happen here. Kind of neat. So you'll see our first match is a singles match, Steve O versus Gino Hernandez. Now what I'm going to do in the next match, we're going to go to Second Event. And we're going to make it a singles match again. And for this one, we are going to have... Let's take the early Paul Orndorff, and he is going to challenge the Baron Von Raschke. And this is going to be a Georgia. You can enter, you know, details of the match, whatever you want to, you know, which anything special, if it's a Texas death or whatever you want to call it. This is a Georgia TV title match. So it looks good, Steve Ogino. We're going to hit Save Changes, and that's going to take the second spot there. Now, for our next match, we're going to go to Event 3. Just got to change this as you go along. I'm going to make a Tag Team match. For this, I'm going to go Tag Team Master. And what I'm going to have for this one, we are going to take the team of Austin Idol, Kevin Sullivan, face team. And they are going to challenge the Wild Samoans, which are the national tag team champions. So again, click and drag. So here for the uh, specialty match or whatever details you want to add, I'm going to go national tag team title. We're going to hit save. Have that. So now we are up to, so I'll add one more here. We'll go four. And this one here, I'm also going to go back to a singles. And you'll notice here, you got singles, tag team, battle royal, uh, battle royal tag team, or uh, royal rumble. So here, we're going to go singles. 
I'm going to stay in my Georgia. And this one here, we're going to take Wildfire, Tommy Rich. Click and drag. And he is going to face the heel card, Bob Armstrong. I have a little feud going with those two. And this one here is going to be a lumberjack. For the youngsters out there who don't know what a lumberjack match is, it's where the ring was surrounded with whatever, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 guys. They surrounded the ring. And their job, their only job, was if a wrestler was left the ring or thrown out of the ring, their job was to throw them back in, just kind of roll them back in, and then the match would continue. It was typically put into place to keep a wrestler from running out of the ring or leaving the ring repeatedly, um, just to keep the match in the uh, in the squared circle. Of course, when they'd go outside the ring, if a good guy was thrown out, the bad guy, the bad guy lumberjacks outside the ring would beat them up as much as they could before they'd roll them back in. And um, if if the bad guy got thrown out, then the bad guy lumberjacks would, you know, take their time getting him gently back into the ring. So, anyway, a little history there. So, we have the lumberjack match. We have the two wrestlers going to hit save. So, we have our four matches. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the card. You're about to end the card creation and save the result. Is this correct? And this at this point, you could have a chance, you know, choice if you wanted to go back in, change something, or you forgot something, you can do it. Um, but once I hit save, this card is now saved. Georgia New Year's Day match card save complete. So we're going to click OK. Now, I'm going to go up here, and we're going to go play match card. Here we are at our play match card and our play our card we created. I should say we're going to play the match from it. You'll notice here any match card you've saved is, you know, saved in a file and they're all listed whenever you uh, come in here. Um, I'm going to click this. I'm not even sure what it is just in case I have something set up. Okay, this was a result of a card I ran back on Christmas Day for my um, uh, Georgia replay and it's kind of cool it gives you a list of everything what happened the winner loser how they won and then the time and um, I've kind of forgot about this I had a big t a tag team unification no DQ match that the Samoans won by pinfall in only 209 and then I had a national tag uh, our national title match, cage match. I know the loser had to leave for 60 days and the spoiler pin, Ted DiBiase. So I'm going to click out of this for now. We'll go back up here. So now let's go to the card we just set up. So here's what's nice. You click start next card event. You just click and that lists it right up here. You'll notice here's the Atlanta, the Omni 1181, Attendance, 15,000. So we're going to start next event. Once I selected the next card event, you'll see our first match, Steve-O. Herman's one of his favorites. And then to the right, we have uh, Gorgeous Gino Hernandez. And you'll see on the left side under wrestler, you'll see Steve-O's name. And then you'll also see uh, to the right there, uh, Gino's name. This is exactly how, if you're just to start a match anytime, this is the screen you go to. So we're going to click OK. OK, back to that. Now that we selected the two, or the two wrestlers were selected, you still go in and you're going to set up your rules that you want for this match. The only thing I'm going to change on this is I'm going to set the time limit and I'm going to set it to 20 minutes since this is the opening bout. So we'll hit OK. And then we are going to go to our trade hold recommendations. Here we're at our, our trade holds screen. And it's not having any suggestions for Steve O, but for Gino, the suggestion switch out of ropes and speed moves. So I'm going to do real quick here just to, so we can get this going. You know, we're going to, um, we've ran through some of these matches before, uh, the different ones. And I kind of pointed this video just to show the, um, how that creates card work. So we'll go arm holds and we're going to go throws and drags, which is right there. So we're okay. 
We'll click done and then we can get back to our game screen. Here we are back to the game screen. We have everything set up. We're going to get ready to start here. Here's our little prediction here. Slight disadvantage to Steve-O and we're ready to start. I, I am going to hurry through this because the point of this video again is just to um, show you the card feature. So we'll get it going here. Speed move. We have a counter. Gino has his punches countered. Steve-O arm hold. Possible DQ which we're going to stop. Uh, Steve-O going for an early specially move drop kick. Steve-O landing it early. Um, Leg sweep, Russian leg sweep, one, doesn't get it. Uh, counter, low blow by Gino. Gino has his move countered. Steve-O with a backslide, but no pin attempt. Auto control loss, Steve-O makes an error. No action, no action. Uh, big boot, Steve-O vaults from the ropes. No pin. Auto control loss, Steve-O leg hold. Steve-O going another drop kick, maybe he can get him one. Two. And he doesn't get the three. Legal throw. Steve-O is really uh, dominating this match here. Uh, Gino's not performing well at all. We have a counter there. Headlock by Gino. Kick. Submission. We're going to cancel since third number zero. Scoop slam. We got a one. And he got to the ropes. Uh, Gino coming back a little bit. I uh, can't get it. We got a ropes. Hair pull. Body slam. Strong comeback by Gino. Oh, he goes for a turnbuckle elbow drop. It's countered. Steve-O suplex. Steve-O out of control loss. Outside ring action coming. The referee says enough is enough. Has counted both men out of the ring. With a 10 count. And they're fighting right back up the aisle. This battle is going right up the aisle. They're in the aisle here. He's pretty excited about him battling up the aisle, going up the aisle. Um, so, okay, our first match ended. So now what we can do here is if you go up to match cards, you'll notice play match card, and there's a shortcut here, F3. All right, what I did was I hit F3, the shortcut, and that takes you right back to our card. Real neat little shortcut Gary put in. So you'll see here under match card or next card event, it's the Georgia TV title match. Paul Orndorff versus Baron Von Raschke, Master of the Claw. And if you go down to the next box, the match card event list, you'll see the first match was a double count out between Steve-O and Gino Hernandez. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click start. I'm not going to run another match, but I'll just show you what happens. We're going to go to start next card event. We're back here to the selection, and it's got Paul Ondorf's picture and his name highlighted, and then uh, Baron Von Raschke's picture and his name hided, uh, highlighted. So this is basically, you know, again, how we, when you remember the Steve O'Gino, so we're going to click OK here. Here we're back at our game screen, and uh, we would go, if we were going to, you know, run this match right now, we would go up and go match setup, make all our choices. Uh, do our trade hold recommendations, and then start our match. So when you create a card, you, you still go through the same steps to set up your match. You know, you're going to make your match preferences. You're going to, um, you know, time limits, everything that you normally would do. But, again, it just keeps you the order of your card. Now, let's say you run a couple of your uh, matches in your card. Let's say I ran this one, but then I wanted to go... You know, I'm always play testing certain wrestlers, see if tweaks are needed. Say I wanted to go play test a couple of wrestlers. You just start a new match. You wouldn't even uh, go into your uh, card match. You could just say, you know what, I'm going to go uh, test uh, Tommy Rich versus Roddy Piper. Click start new match like you normally would, and your card is safely saved, and you can come back to it at any time. I've, you know, started a card that had eight matches on it, and I did four or five and then I decided I forgot I needed to play test somebody, so I went and ran a few play test matches, came back the next night, and finished my card. Um, so, hope you found this uh, helpful uh, to create a card. Uh, the one thing I did not mention, so I probably should here, let's go back to our uh, match card. Back to the card screen, I wanted to show you something I forgot to explain when your event is all done you can save the card text 
where you'll have all your results. You can also print it out. So if we go up here real quick to my Omni Christmas night, um, I can save this card text and it will be saved in a file. So if I want to go back, say at the end of a period of time, or if I want to go for the whole year, I could actually go in and print all my cards out. You know, what you see, you know, I'd save, I would have saved them, of course, and then I could open each one up, print them all out, and it would appear exactly as you see on your screen right now. So, did want to point that out. Um, you know, very simple, just all done. You hit save card text, and then it's saved, and whenever you want to go back and look at it, you can. Appreciate everybody joining in. You know, I've done quite a few of these, and I am going to try to keep them a little bit shorter so I don't bore you or um, we kind of get to the point here a little quicker but each one will still do our pick some type of topic uh, to cover um, appreciate your time and your support of wrestling's finest and i hope you all have a great rest of your day it's saturday night here in south dakota we have a beautiful day going on i mowed the yard and it's been a very nice day and i hope you're all getting some nice weather too Again, thank you very much for joining in and have a great rest of your weekend. So long.